Old Sultan. Today we have a book named Old Sultan, short stories for kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in a cozy little cottage on the outskirts of a bustling village, there lived an old dog named Sultan. Sultan was once a proud and mighty hound, but now in his twilight years, he spent most of his days lounging in the warmth of the sun, his faithful friend, a cat named Puff, by his side. Sultan had been a loyal companion to his master, a kind-hearted woodcutter for many years. Together, they had roamed the forest, chasing rabbits and keeping their home safe from harm. But now, as Sultan grew older and slower, he found himself longing for the days of his youth. One day, as Sultan and Puff were napping peacefully in the shade of a towering oak tree, they were awoken by a commotion nearby. Curious, they padded over to investigate and found a group of villagers gathered around a bulletin board, murmuring excitedly amongst themselves. What's going on? Sultan asked, his ears perking up with interest. One of the villagers turned to him with a smile. Haven't you heard? The king is hosting a grand competition to find the bravest and strongest animal in the kingdom. The winner will be granted a handsome reward and everlasting fame. Sultan's heart skipped a beat with excitement. Could this be his chance to prove that age was just a number and that he still had what it took to be a great and mighty hound? Without hesitation, Sultan declared, I shall enter the competition. Puff looked at him with concern. But Sultan, you're not as young as you used to be. Are you sure you're up for it? Sultan nodded determinedly. I may be old, but I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. And with you by my side, Puff, I know we can conquer anything. And so Sultan and Puff set off on their journey to the king's palace, their hearts filled with hope and determination. Along the way, they encountered many challenges, a steep mountain to climb, a raging river to ford, and a dark forest filled with mysterious creatures. But Sultan and Puff faced each obstacle with courage and perseverance, never once losing sight of their goal. And as they finally arrived at the palace gates, they knew that they were ready to prove themselves in the competition. The palace courtyard was filled with animals of all shapes and sizes, each one eager to showcase their strength and bravery. Sultan looked around, his heart swelling with pride at the sight of so many noble creatures gathered together. The competition began with a series of challenges, a race through an obstacle course, a test of strength to move a heavy boulder, and a display of courage to face a fearsome beast. And one by one, the animals stepped forward to try their luck. When it was Sultan's turn, he approached the first challenge, a race through a maze of tunnels, with determination in his eyes. With Puff cheering him on from the sidelines, Sultan raced through the maze, his senses sharp and his instincts guiding him every step of the way. Next came the test of strength, a contest to see who could lift the heaviest boulder. Sultan approached the boulder with a determined expression, his muscles bulging with effort as he strained to move the massive rock. And to everyone's amazement, he succeeded, his strength shining through despite his age. Finally, it was time for the ultimate test of courage, a face-off against a ferocious lion. Sultan squared his shoulders and stared down the lion, his eyes steady and unwavering. With a fierce growl, the lion charged, but Sultan stood his ground, his bravery shining like a beacon in the darkness. 
As the dust settled and the cheers of the crowd filled the air, Sultan emerged victorious, his courage and determination earning him the title of the bravest and strongest animal in the kingdom. The king was so impressed by Sultan's bravery that he awarded him a golden collar and declared him a hero of the realm. And from that day on, Sultan and Puff were honored and respected wherever they went, their bond of friendship and their spirit of courage inspiring all who crossed their path. And as they settled down for the night, cozy and content in their little cottage on the outskirts of the village, Sultan knew that he had proven that age was just a number and that true bravery knows no bound. And with Puff by his side, he knew that together they could conquer anything that came their way. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.